YouTube, how we doing? PPS here. YouTube play of the daytime. We're coming at you guys. Valentine's Day today with a 1.5 unit spot on the docket. So coming off of yesterday's slate, um, really did not go how I expected it to. Um, Kentucky, nine points in the first like nine minutes end up coming through for us. Um, just an elite offense. Uh, first half has become a wagon for us. Um, and I expect it to continue to be there. Um, the, the, the combination of just shooting and just raw athleticism on that team it makes this seem a really tough team. And I think this, if, if they play any lick of defense in March, got to be a team I want to back um, in the tournament there. Um, I know everybody's kind of talking about how bad their defense is. And mind you, I, I agree. I think their defense is horrendous. But we saw a little bit last night. Um, and obviously this offense can score with anybody in the country. Um, I, I would put them right up. Those two teams, them and Arizona, would be my two favorite offenses to want to back um, so far this year. Florida, 47-point first half, and they don't get there. Um, just disgusting. Um, they just went through stretches of just terrible basketball. Pulling up, contested threes, um, contested mid-range jump shots, which probably is the worst shot in basketball. Um, just really bad look um, in the second half from an offense that you really don't see that from. LSU's defense is nothing to write home about. They'll give you the game you want to play, and uh, they just couldn't do it. I thought LSU was going to win. Um, Florida, 10-point favorite, barely cover. Um, first half looked exactly like I expected it to, but that second half, it, it was really concerning to watch that, especially in a home game for Florida. Um, tough spot, um, but, hey, we end up splitting. Go down point one units. Um 72 day overall yesterday for me on basketball, a swept NBA with a two and no spot. Um, and, and we're just rolling in college basketball. I'm hoping um, we can continue that. Um, obviously, I'll have my updated numbers for my full VIP card I'll put in there. I try to post those every day. Um, but over here, 13 units for free. There's not much more you can ask for um, as we head into a 1.5 unit play today on Valentine's Day. Let's get this going here. Um, we're going with Sanford. We're going with the Bulldogs. Team total over 81 and a half and minus 120. Sanford is a wagon at home, man. They've been just absolutely cashing unders on the road. I believe they're 10 and 0 to the under on the road, which I think is absolutely absurd for an offense that plays like Sanford does. But you got to remember when they play the way they do, you're going to end up having to uh, really kind of adjust the market numbers because they're 10th in the pay 10th in pace 54 uh 54th in adjusted offense um this is a very very good basketball team um and at home they've just become even more of a wagon right um you look at this spot obviously you look at um their numbers their points scored per game at home 95 points per game scored at home which is crazy guys they just put 102 up on VMI, a team that obviously is terrible. But that was at VMI, right? You go, you played Wofford, who does not play fast. They put up 81, 87 on Mercer, 134 on VMI, 79 on a good UNC Greensboro team. And I expect that same thing to happen here today. This team shoots the ball so well. They are fourth in the country in three-point shooting, um, or actually seventh in the country in three-point shooting. Or no, seventh in the country in first half scoring at home with 47 points per game, which is crazy. And then you look at them scoring here at home, 95 points per game. And then we go to three-point shooting, and Sanford is number two in the country at 45% at home. This is an absolute team I want to be backing at home especially. And then you go to Western Carolina is allowing 34.5% from deep so far this year. Uh, that ranks 237 in the country. So we have a team with pace who can shoot the rock, who's fantastic at home, and shoots 45% from three at home. Phenomenal free throw shooting team. And you and you have scores at multiple levels, right? A core, a core, 15 and 6. Then you got Satin McRae at 43% from deep. Accor shoots 46% from deep. Jaden Campbell, 46% from deep. Uh, Jermaine Marshall, 39%. Ryland Jones, 39%. 
That is their top five scores. Every single one of them is 39% from three. Just absurd. You're not going to see any of these dudes with crazy amount of minutes because they've been blowing teams out and they play so fast that you're going to have to have a rotation here, right? But what I really like as well, free throw shooting, we have our two guards, our two starting guards shooting 81% from the free throw line, which is what we really like to see. Um, and I just can't get over the, the shooting percentages of this team. Um, really tough to want to get away from these guys in this spot, especially against a team in Western Carolina that is, you know, a little bit close. They're, they're catching up to them um, in the conference, fourth in the conference versus number one here in Sanford. So um, coming back home after a three-game road trip, I think Sanford comes out ready to play here. Um, and I'm going to be rolling with them today. Team total over 81 and a half at minus 120 on DraftKings. So hit that like button, guys, if you could. Hit that subscribe button as well. We'll be back tomorrow. Um, we'll also have past the prop later this afternoon. Hopefully you guys will be tuning in for that. That'll be more NBA. And maybe I'll have another college basketball spot. But if you guys have been making money, hit that like button. And uh, we'll be back here shortly for another round of past the prop.